Hello there, and welcome to the IBA Finals. Your coach of the New South Wales was the Flying Bird 14 in the last time you'll see this logo. Also as well, there has been a channel graphic update as well, and there'll be a little bit of an update video that goes up next week to cover what my sort of thoughts are and everything. Uh, in particular, I want to give a massive shout out to Masto and Verd for helping me build this week. Also as well, a massive thank you has to go to Aaron2420. Uh, I've really enjoyed IBA purely because of him. Um, I think that that's the best way to play it. Like, I played Immortal Men's, and that was a great game. I played some really good quality opponents, someone like D. Willy, I even watch now because I feel like he's a content creator that the right, um, the right nurturing can really be, you know, another good Aussie content creator. I do, I do also enjoy watching the Aussies. Don't know why, I just do. Probably I'm just a bit too loyal. And this game, well, it's a post comp, it's still 23 minutes long. Um, the game itself was 50 minutes, and there is something that is an epic twist, but let's get into it. If you did not see yesterday's team builder, watch it. I'm not covering the team again. So, we're going to lead with our Mega Altaria, because I did predict the Mega Gallade to want to be his lead with the SD. As we do see, we are playing Kurt, coach of the port Portage, port her deers, whatever it is, I don't know. You Yanks name things weird. Name them after colonial things. So yeah, he leads with the uh, Mega, Mega Gallade, and I'm just like, alright, sweet. I'm just going to click Return, and if he wants to go out into to Rotom Heat... Oh no, sorry, I click Dragon Dance. I click Dragon Dance here, because I go, there's no way he stays in. I'm going to click Dragon Dance, and I'm going to see what he's switching to this is going to be. Because if it's the left key, I'm going to try to trap it with Lapras. If it's something else, it's going to be not very good. Oh, look how cute Mega Altaria is. He's so fluffy! So we go for a turn, and this return does nothing. And this... Hey, I was right, I did click return. That should have been a, uh, a bit of a red flag, because I was like, this is like Max is death, Max is death, Rotom Heat. But, later on I find out that this is a Scarf. So this is going to be a very interesting game, because now I click, he clicks Volt Switch, and I'm like, sweet, thank you, give me my sandbag. And I don't want to reveal that I'm Scarf yet. So every time he goes down into KPW, I'm going to go back out into my Mega Altaria and just rush stuff on it. My Mega Altaria is like really bulky. It, I've also got Gyarados as well. Actually, I might go Hard Gyarados here. Nah, yeah, I do go Hard Gyarados. Gyarados is Max Max his death this week. Um, and that was a whole idea of the set. As he does make the play, I think he does SD this turn from memory. Or if not, he just clicks CC. And I'm like, okay, whatever this one, one wants to do, next turn I'm clicking Toxic. Because whatever I Toxic, I can get a little bit more stall on. So he goes to the Drain Punch, and I'm like, okay, sweet. So he's not CC, that's important to note. It's also important to note that he's going to mitigate the sand damage, because I don't have rocks, um on a Pokemon that can freely click rocks. It also crits me, which sucks a little bit, but then again, you'll see later on that it doesn't really matter on this Gyarados, because Gyarados is so puckled. Um, so I'm going to click Protect. Um, I'm going to click, yeah, I'm going to click Toxic this turn. There's no reason for him to stay in. If he, even if he's a sub-variant, I don't really care. I click Toxic as he goes out into Lucky Lantern. <laughs> I'm just going to Toxic, and then I'm going to Protect this next turn, because there's no re real reason for me not to. And I'm just predicting a Volt Switch, and if he does go for a Volt Switch, I'm just going to go back into my... um. Back into my Tyranitar, just to sort of bait in that I, I'm not a Scarf Fairy and a Titar. I want to continuously bait in this Mega Gallade. And that's what my sort of viewpoint is. So my viewpoint is at this stage is I'm, I'm Max Happiness on my um, Mega Altaria because I don't really look at the damage. I go, that could just be Max Max Defense. So I, I click Protect this turn just to get a little bit more damage on it. Um, depending upon what his spread's going to be later on, we'll see. see. So he does go for that Toxic, and I'm like, sweet, he's going to Toxic. Um, Titar doesn't really mind a Toxic, and I think Volts, which is also a better play of his, because he's just going to see that my Gyarados is stalling out his Lucky Lantern. He's a Lucky Lucky Lantern! And I'm like, ooh. So, I do make the switch this turn. I go into Six Foot Hacks, my, uh, my Tyranitar, as he just goes for that Volt Switch, and I'm like, sweet. I'm going to get some more damage off, and um, he, he has really seen that I don't really have a Mega Gallade answer, so he's going to make his best play into the Mega Gallade, as I just stay in with my Tyranitar. Um, sorry, as I switch out with my Tyranitar into Gyarados. It's also important to note that because I don't have Sandstream up, my um, Barbarical's Badef isn't going to be high enough to what it would be, so I'm going to go into Padonison. 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 As he just clicks the SD, and I'm like, sweet, I'm going to click uh, Waterfall this turn, because I've shown how much that... My T-Tail wants to constantly switch out on his uh, Mega Gallade. 
Um, that, that's going to be a very important thing. Now, I did debate going for Toxic go for Waterfall, but I think that my best play was to go for Waterfall. Um, because unless he was Thunder Punch, I lived anyone hit, and that's what Gyarados' main job was to do. Because he didn't bring Mimikyu, there was no real point in me trying to, like, save my Gyarados. So I do go for the, the Waterfall, and that does it about, just puts it in range of T-Tar's Crunch. And that's what I'm really trying to go for. Now, I could protect, but I, I know that every turn that I stay on the field with Gyarados, I'm giving him more HP, and I don't really have anything else. So Gyarados goes down, but he's been a very good defensive backbone of my team. He's been so puggled. Um, and that's something also to be considered, is that, like I really liked Gyarados, and I think in this matchup that, you know, if it was DD, it could have been a different game, but nah. Is he Rain Dance? So, he does make the switch out this turn, as I threatened him out with the uh, return. So I'm going to click DD, uh, sorry, click return again, and this return does absolute pitiful damage, because as I said, I don't realise that I've mucked up my whole thing and my happiness, and uh, yeah, I'm like, so let's go back into my Tita, he can't thunder wave me, what's he going to do? And I think from memory he just sets up a screen, I think he goes for reflect. So I'm like, sweet, if he's going to ref be reflect, that doesn't worry me, because I'm just going to set up my rocks this turn, and I'm predicting whatever his wind con's going to be, he's going to come in, so I'm going to click rocks. Um, as he clicks, he switches out into Delray, which is the um, Tangrowth, which is really annoying, but I do get up my rocks, which is a more, more important aspect of this game. I'm now just going to go hard into my uh, Lapras, because my Lapras can trap anyone not on the team, and that's what I want to see. I haven't seen any damage yet on this uh, Tangrowth, which is important to note. So we're going to Baby Eric, our Lapras, and we are going to click the Whirlpool to the subsequent turn. As he just clicked Sludge Bomb, so I'm like, okay, sweet. So we now know that this has Sludge Bomb. Um, it probably it could either be AV or it could be Fizz Death. I'm guessing by the way my team's built, he's Fizz Death. He doesn't have a full Corona answer, but that's that's a story for another day. <laughs> um, so he does switch out this Delray this turn, as I do just click the Whirlpool and I get a trap. And what I'm aiming to do realistically here is I want to trap the the uh, key thing. So. He hasn't shown what his last move is, and my baby Eric has enough spadef where it can 1v1 this Klefki. But, in saying that, I'm very tempted to get Barbarical in and double double Shell Smash and trade trade my Barbarical for his Kle for his Klefki. Um, now, that sounds like a really weird sequence of plays because I knew that if um if my Barbarical could get to like plus, plus 4 or plus 3, um, I could ultimately win this game. And that's what I was sort of looking at, is, okay, so, sweet, what do I do? Um, in hindsight, probably going out into Tita earlier would have been better. But we do see that we just keep, keep ch chunking this, this, uh, Klefki. So, this time I'm going to protect. There's no real reason for me not to. Um, I am Lumberry on my, um, on my Barbarical. I was hoping he's going to be Toxic. Because if, I was like, okay, he's seen Thunder Wave. But Thunder Wave doesn't really help him later on in the game. And I'm like, okay, I think this is play rough in the end, is revealed to be. So I'm like, sweet, let's go out into Barbarical, and let's Shell Smash up once, on, like, the, the turn he can switch out. But, if he doesn't switch out, he loses Klefki, and I don't think that that's what he wants to do, as we go into our Aaron 2, 4, 7, 6, as he does go for that Thunder Wave, and I'm like, okay, that's a really weird play. Now, yes, you can switch out, but I'm just going to Shell Smash here for free, and then I'm going and then I'm going to bait it, essentially, to be like, okay, do you want to, do you want to lose your Klefki? And he, I think from memory, he does make the trade. He, des he, he decides to switch out, and this is where I really should have sw swung in the game. I should have went for uh, a Stone Edge into this uh, Tangrowth, but I decided not to because I was not Rockinium, and I think that I should have prioritized damage on this Tangrowth, but I wanted to bait back in that Klefki because I was like, okay, sweet. Um, there's, he doesn't really have a re- like, I see the Reflect wears off, and I'm like, okay, let's switch out here. Let's make the play out into Baby Eric. Because I want to, I'm also care about baiting in this Tangrowth. He does switch out though, and I'm like, ooh, this is weird. Goes into Katie. I think Katie from memory was a lucky lantern. So I'm just gonna protect this turn. I wanna, I wanna get another round of um, of status on. And this is where I sort of really don't understand the, the Thunder Wave spam plays with um, Kurt's team. Is that like, if he doesn't toxic Lapras, Lapras is so much more annoying for his team because he can't break Lapras. Um. So he does go for that Toxic, and I decide to uh, Perish Song this turn, because I'm like, okay, this is going to be Water Absorb, let's Perish Song. There's no real reason not to. Um, I don't know what this Lantern is, I'm also predicting a um, a Volt Switch, because I didn't know what the set was at the time, but then it turns out to be like a Cleric set. Or well, not Cleric, but just annoying. <laughs> Vel Corona food. 
and the Toxic does keep racking up in damage, which is really nice to me. I do have the Parish Song now, which means that he can't stay in, and I think at this turn I decide to go out into my Tita, because I just, I'm just trying to stall out his turns with Klefki, and I think that looking back in the game, in hindsight, I really should have um, sorted out his turns a little bit more. And I was looking at this damage, I'm like, okay, sweet. So that means if I bring in Tita here, he's seen me switch out twice. He knows what my play is. I've kept it hidden that I'm Scarf Tar. And Scarf Tita in this matchup can still do a lot of work. So I'm going to crunch here. Um, because the sand is now up, it's going to help Barbarical later on in the game. And we're going to go for crunch. As we crunch, and we take out the Mega Galley. And I'm like, okay, sweet. This is looking good. Um, his light screen wears off. He goes in a Tridart, which is uh, the Mammoth Swine, and I think from memory this turn, I'm predicting a uh, Icicle Crash. So I do go out into my Lapras, and this is where if he, if he didn't have the uh, Toxic on, my Lapras would be such a much better wall. But he did opt for that Toxic over, you know, whatever else. <laughs> so he does go for that Icicle Crash, and I take this like a champ. Look at Lapras! He's, he's a champion. And then I had a champ choice to make this turn. Do I, do I try to water... Do I try... What do I do here? Um, now that damage turns out later on in the game to be banded damage. Um, at the time I thought he was scuffed, and then again I should have been running calcs because it was finals, but I was like, eh. I think from memory he goes out into Lantern as I try to Whirlpool this turn. Um, and it's a bit of a mis misplay, but I don't really have anything else to hit Lantern with. And at the same time, he is taking that Toxic plus, um, he's taking Toxic plus Rocks plus Sandstream. So I don't really mind giving him back that HP with that Lucky Lantern. Because there's no real downside to it. Um, I thought the Whirlpool was free. If you tried to make an aggressive double, he showed heaps. He showed um, in other other games that I, I scouted. He was makes a, a lot of aggressive doubles. He plays a lot like Crimson Seabad. Um, it, I think that's his name. Yeah. So he plays a lot like Chase. And so I was predicting a lot of aggressive doubles and things like that. So now this next turn, I'm like, okay, he's, he's not gonna. He's gonna. He's gonna have like Volt Switch Initiative, and I'm gonna go into a Mega Jolteon because if he, I've got a free Ground EMZ if, unless he goes in a Rotom Heat. And I think this next turn I decided to U-turn, as he does make the play to Vault Switch as he stays in. And I was like, that's a very nice aggressive middle ground play. Um, I, I think that he shouldn't have, you know, wasted his uh, Lantern. But I, I don't know. Actually, no, I do U-turn as he does switch out. He goes out to the Stellar Ray, and that reveals to be Rocky Helmet. So I was like, okay, sweet. Earlier on in the game with the um, Barbarical, I made the right play. However, I, I think I'm out of special attackers. And that sucks. So we're getting some nice little chips. So I think from memory now, I go out into my um, Tita because I know that with Tita getting the chip on, it's going. Oh no, going to Lapras here. That's right. I go into Lapras. And I'm going to Parish Song this turn because I think that Lantern's going to come back in. And I'm going to go out into my Tita. I'm slowly chipping down a lot of babe, a lot of um, Kurt's team, and that's what I'm trying to do here. Um, it's it's five five. It's it's long, but I do make an, a double here as I do go out into my Daniki, which is my um, which is my Mega Altaria because I'm like. Okay, let's see what he does. It's Rock Slide. I'm like, sweet. He won't. He should click Slide Bomb this turn. I'm going to make the double out into Tita from memory. Because with a little bit more chip from Tita, I win this game. Um, and that's and that's the mentality I have. And I haven't realized that I don't have happiness in as I'm playing this game until now. Um, Aaron said before the game, don't worry about happiness, but I don't have to check it. So we see that that does little. And I'm like, he doesn't have Synthesis. I'm just going to click Stone Edge here. I'm going to get as much damage as I can, and I, I can try my best to win up the game here. I get a crit, which also helps me. He goes for Leech Seed, I avoid, and I'm like, sweet. Um, let's go for a um, another Stone Edge, but he will obviously opt to go for, like, go for that Regenerator. And I'm like, sweet, this is Klefki, it's going to be annoying. Uh, st screens is really annoying for me, but I do have Defog on my uh, Flygon. And I'm like, sweet, that Klefki is nearly in range of rocks. Let's go out into our, um, go, and, you know, Mega Jolteon. Like, this is what, like, my, my Flygon's whole set design was to try to bait in this, um, Klefki. And it, it keeps clicking Reflect on Light Screen. And I go for U-Turn this turn. I think from memory, the Klefki lives on, like, one. Yeah. Um, that was a poor play, but at the same time, I thought it was a, a, a good play because it did allow me to go back into my Lapras. To be honest, looking back at the game, I should have went into t there. But he does reveal to have that dazzling gleam. I could have also went into barbarical, but at the same time, you know, I'm not. A, I can't beat it. <laughs> uh, this next turn, I'm pretty sure I go hard into barbarical because I'm like, I, he's he should switch out into Tangrus or lantern. Oh no, sorry, I stay in a perish song. That's what I do here. Yeah. Oh no, I sub. That's right. I sack off my Lapras unintentionally. Um, that was a really bad play by me, um, personally, but. 
I was like, the Clef Q is an opportunity to set up, and I think from here I go back into Barbarical and try to double Shell Smash, because I'm like, he can't sweet care of me, I'm going to double Shell Smash with Barbarical, because I, a double Shell sp Smash without Paralysis, obviously, lets me win this game. So he goes to the Thunder Wave, um, and I'm like, sweet. Um, so that's what I also meant, like, if he didn't Toxic me with the Lantern, and he went for that Thunder Wave, he would you know, it would have been a different game. So I do decide to Shell Smash this turn, as he does stay in with the Keys. He does go for that Dazzling Gleam, and I'm like, sweet, let's go for a Shell Smash. We are a very slow Barbarical 2, and that's something also to note. But at this stage, I was like, okay, let's just see what our win con is. And um, I personally thought it was, uh, you know, my Mega Altaria could have been really nice. So, we go for a second Shell Smash here, um, because I wanted to do it, as he does go for the Dazzling Gleam. And I think from memory, he does get the uh, Paralysis. Yeah, he does get the Fully Paralysis, which means that my uh, Barbarical is, can't go for another one. And I sort of think to myself, look, Barbarical's alright as Sack Fodder. Let's go into Tita. So we've essentially played around this Klefki really poorly. We've given him about five turns to do what he wants with the Klefki. And that's what's worrying me. So he goes for the Dazzling Gleam. And we live. Um, and then I'm like, sweet, let's just the next turn go for a... Uh, I think we go for Crunch. Yeah, we go for Crunch here. So if I if I click Stone Edge on the Klefki the first time, um, but I was also trying to st like, stall out his screens, you know, it would have been a different game, but... It's all right. We get rid of the, the you know the reflect and all that. Um, now we don't really have an answer to Mammoth Swine, so I think from memory I either I think I sack off Barbarical, um, to be honest. No, I sack off Titar because I want to see what its speed tier is. I go for Crunch because I know whatever move he wants to go for. I'm gonna be sweet. Goes for Icicle Crash, and I'm like, okay, that's fine by me. I do lose my t my I I think my yeah I lose my Titar there because as I said it was banded, not scarfed. Um, I think sacking Barbarical there could have been also a good play, but. I now know that he's he's you know he's that set, so I'm like okay, sweet, let's go for a, a U-turn here, um, because he should go into that uh, Rotom Heat, but he does opt to go into the Tangrowth, and this is where I'm like okay, this is actually looking all right for me. Uh, I go for that Earthquake, um, and then I think from memory I ground him Z. Yeah, I go for ground him Z this next turn. I'm pretty sure because I'm like let's kill this Tangrowth off. Um, it's at like 19, you know, it's at a very low amount of health. Or a U-turn, I can't remember. Theodore, that sounds like Rotom Heat. Yeah. So, I must I must have ground him Z that turn from memory. Oh no, a U-turn. Sweet, I made the play. I went for U-turn. Uh, sorry, I did play this game ages ago. I don't really, really want to rewatch this. But, I'm like, sweet. I can go into Mega Altaria here, DD up and win. Um, and because I didn't notice the... Because uh, I wasn't calculating re return damage before. Uh, this is where it ultimately hits me. So, he Volt Switches. And I'm like, sweet. DD up and win. That, like that's that is the that is the game. Like um, that like this should be game here. I can take an ice shard. Um, the happiness, you know, should be relevant. And then I DD up. And now return should be a base 102 power move. If it was frustration, I won. Um, but it is actually a base 35 power, and it's going to cost us the game. It. I lived an ice shard from that range, even from Bandit. Um, and then I'm like, let's try to try to do something to try to do like get back into this game. <laughs> I think he goes back into Katie, which is the uh, lantern. I think I go for Roost. Um, because I was like, uh, this is a really bad situation. I now can't beat that Tangrowth. Tangrowth walls my whole team. So if I was Hyper Voice, I won the game. Like, it could have been DD Hyper Voice I won. Like, it could have been any other move. Um, bar Frustration. And I would have won the game, because I was Cotton Guard. So, if I knew, like, let's say I missed Jen and put Hyper Voice, I would have sort of went quick for Cotton Guard on the uh, Rotom Heat. Uh, it now goes into the Lantern, as he makes a nice play there on Toxics. I was more so predicting Volt Switch, trying to kill the Barbarical off, but he does make the correct play. Um, yeah, and pretty much we're going to lose this game, because we cannot beat the combination of him once he has left. Um, I'm gonna, can I speed this up at all? Because I really don't want to watch this. It goes into Tri Dart. Um, I sack off Barbarical, I think. Yeah, so you see, like, Tangrowth just, I go for Ground MZ, like, praying that that'll be it, but, nah. Mega Altaria gets poisoned in the end. Um, yeah, and we lose the game. So, GG to Kurt. Happiness cucks me. Till next time. Peace.